Hi, my name is Cal Warner. I'm a partner at the law firm of Cersei Denny in West Palm Beach, Florida. I want to talk to you a little bit today about our experience with the Stryker Rejuvenate Hip and our investigation into these issues. At Cersei Denny, we discovered the problems associated with the Rejuvenate Hip long ago. It was not easy for us to figure out why patients' hips with a ceramic ball and a plastic socket were failing, but we finally did. Our first client came to us some time ago. She had already had a revision surgery. She brought blood tests showing her metal counts to be very, very high. She brought product ID stickers showing that she in fact had the Rejuvenate device. Since we had been involved in the metal-on-metal metal hip implant cases for some time, we were already very familiar with the problems associated with heavy metal poisoning. But we determined that this lady's hip was not a metal-on-metal metal hip. In fact, the Rejuvenate was a ceramic-on-plastic hip. We actually turned her away because of that. When the second potential client came to us with the same exact hip from the same exact doctor's practice in only a few days, telling us exactly the same story, we decided it was time to investigate further. We sent both cases to an expert familiar with the metal on metal issues. Within 24 hours, he called us back and said that this hip was in fact causing the same exact problems metal on metal hips were causing just from a different place on the implant. It was actually at the junction between the metal neck and the metal stem that was causing the problems. Sometime later, when Stryker published its urgent field safety alert, saying that this was the problem, we knew we were right. Now that Stryker has actually recalled the device, citing this exact same problem as the reason for the recall, we were even more sure. We have already compiled a complete history of all relevant medical and scientific literature dealing with taper neck junctions in modular hips. We have also had experts piece together the regulatory history for FDA approval for the Rejuvenate hip implant system. Currently, we have explanted devices being tested by experts and we will have some answers as to how our individual clients' devices failed very soon. We at Circe Denny are very committed to helping those affected by the striker recall. For the latest information, check back here.